Guess what I got? Hi everyone, it's Dave Tree from All The Cool Stuff in Fordingbridge. I'm back today for a review of LEGO Minifigure Series 12. These are due for general release on the 1st of October. So let's have a look what's inside. Our first figure is, well, can only be described as Katniss Everdeen. She comes with a syringe and a bow, so it could be like a very uh, uh, outback vet, or it could be a ripoff of uh, The Hunger Games. Uh, you let us know, uh, but uh, very cool. And uh, it's got a lot of uh, possibilities there in terms of what else could be done in terms of future film type crossovers within the minifigure series. David Hasselhoff is back. Uh, it's the, the classic lifeguard updated with binoculars and the life boy. Um, pretty much as similar to all the previous ones that you've seen, but a worthy addition to the team on that front. The Grand Wizard. Now, this is pretty cool. Within this series, you've actually got quite a lot of sort of medieval and fantasy uh, uh, minifigures. But this one's particularly cool because of the silver he has on his cape. There's a, a lot of deco for something that uh, is a fairly basic figure. You've got all this great uh, uh, tampo print on his uh, body and his hat there. And he also comes with like this jeweled stuff. So very cool, especially with the upcoming Hobbit sets that are coming out and still with the castle sets that are still available now. Ready Player One, we have the Gamer, uh, which comes with this very, very cool joypad, uh, very sort of uh, Nintendo inspired there, and uh, a print on his shirt, and also he's kind of got like a pen stick dangling from uh, his trousers there. He's got a cool little headset, and uh, a very cool figure, uh, and also the t-shirt, or the shirt, long sleeve shirt within a t-shirt, so uh, very hip. One of my favorites, not just because of who he is, but because of the colors that they chose. The Court Jester uh, comes with a really, really nice yellow and purple deco and two cards, the Ace of Spades and the Joker card. Uh, brilliant for any medieval setting or perhaps just like a fancy dress party. My name is Aningo Montoya. You killed my father, prepare to die. We have uh, uh, the, well, I can't really call him the, the musketeer. I would say this is more like a Spaniard swordsman. Um, so very cool uh, and, a, and a great addition to uh, uh, the ones that we've had before, like the musketeers. So uh, comes with like his uh, rapier and his little hat with like the little plume in there and a bulging chest. Ah, uh, yes. There comes a point in our lives where we all feel we need to kiss a toad. Uh, here we have Princess with hopefully her Prince Charming. Uh, again, great deco on the body here. Uh, and uh, also on the detail on the hat with like uh, the sort of uh, the, the ponytail there. But another great addition to like the medieval range there. We have the Space Driller. Um, this is uh, an update to some of the space guys and using some of the parts that we've seen before and, and some like new deco but he has uh, some cool space heavy armor going on there and the ray gun with like the optional drill bit. Very very cool. Another medieval uh, or fantasy setting we've got kind of like the uh, Genghis Khan uh, sort of barbarian like guy uh, comes with this amazing awesome horned helmet uh, sword and shield and some great deco also there on the body it's the pizza guy uh, a great addition to any city setting uh, we have the pizza guy with the pizza box and the pizza itself 
creepy girl. Yes, Harry Potter fans have now got their own very spooky girl, or Moaning Myrtle. Uh, it comes with a cool little teddy bear, but a little cloth skirt as well, and uh, some cool little deco on like the sides with like the stripes. We got the rocker. Uh, very cool addition to the band. Uh, got the flying V. We got some great highlights in the hair there, and also some uh, kiss-like studding going down the front there, and also on the front of his body there. Hairy chest, awesome. It's the pig dude. So uh, the person in the suit is a pig this time, and comes with a nice-looking little apple there, and a cute little tail detail on the reverse there this is for Sparta we have the Greek female warrior uh, who comes with a spear a cool Pegasus shield this rather cool like uh, sort of uh, warrior goddess hat and she comes with like a little skirt there as well so People who've been building up like their Greek mythology armies, you're going to be getting a lot of these guys. Or girls even. Whoops. You really are Stinky Pete. Uh, we got the, the Prospector. Uh, and this guy is a lot of fun. I love this beard. And he's got like a real sort of toothy grin there and a patchwork hat and uh, the whole sort of dungarees and the worn look about him very cool and uh, quite nice connection to the uh, recent lego movie sets as well so you can add him to like the wild west town the genie was one of the most popular figures in a previous wave of the minifigures and now returns again in the form of the female genie so with like the little tail cool little deco of like little sparkles and a little lamp there as well. So here we have the complete 16 set of Series 12 LEGO minifigures. Is it the best that they've done yet? The best series so far? Well, you let us know. Leave your comments below and subscribe to the channel or find us on Facebook at All The Cool Stuff and just let us know. They'll be available at general retail from the 1st of October. So come and get them while you can. We'll also have in the store at All The Cool Stuff in Fordingbridge a loyalty card where it will allow you to buy five minifigures and get the sixth one free while stocks last. Hey, what do you call a pig with laryngitis? Disgruntled.